Hey there guys and welcome again. My name is Rick Utzer here with Ergon Web, your home for old school Ergon reviews where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Today's video is a kind of a preview range time video. We've got the new Barra 1100Z PCP. Now, Barra is a new sponsor for Gateway to Air Guns and we're excited to kind of show you what they got for air guns. They've got some pretty cool stuff. This is their kind of first entry into the PCP world. They've got it in 22 and in 177. Comes in a black stock or a pretty cool camo style. Um, I hope to get the camo one when we get the 22s in. But let me just tell you some of the basic features and then we're gonna just jump right to some just testing because um, again, this is a preview, nothing super serious today. Just kind of want to show you guys how the thing works. So we're, we're talking about a sub $300 PCP here. It's not regulated, 300, um, <laughs> excuse me, got quail running across my yard here. They don't understand the, the peril they're in. Actually not, it's not quail season, so they're perfectly fine. Anyway, <laughs> excuse me, it's 3000 PSI, um, fairly small cylinder, really ideal if you want to target shoot in the backyard and you hand pump versus having a compressor. Um, really suited well for that. It comes with two 12-shot magazines, Picatinny, Picatinny rail or Weaver rail. I, I don't know which it is. It's slotted rail. Um, it looks like you've got a hammer, hammer spring adjuster down here. It looks like my rifle came bottomed out, like full on. Uh, we'll play around with that, you know, in another video. Um, I've shot a few pellets with it. I haven't done any crony testing. We're going to get to that. Um, and, uh, you know, next video we'll do trigger pull and all that other stuff and noise and everything. Today I just want to shoot some pellets. Um, but it looks like it's bottomed out. So when we do our crony test, maybe we'll play with the hammer spring and see what kind of range we get and if it affects shot count or whatever. As far as shot count, um, I'm getting three to four mags, which is, well, 12 rounds. And I think probably three is right. So say 36 shots, maybe you can push it to 48, maybe, but mostly 36. I have no idea what that consistency is. Today I'm just shooting for accuracy. Um, I'll say across three mags, Accuracy is not affected by any sort of deviation or spread we're getting, so we'll get all those numbers in another day. Um, I guess that's about it before we do some shooting here. Some things I really like about it, I love the stock. I think it's a really nice, well-built stock. It is composite or synthetic. The rail up here is super rigid. A lot of times those rails are, well, they're not done well, and so you mount a bipod and you're, you're not stable. This is super rigid. Um, you also have a connector here. Uh, okay, so you'd have to use um, a Weaver or Picatinny mount for a sling, but you do have a spot back here where you can uh, put, a, put a swivel or, you know, a, a rifle sling. So all of that stuff comes together, makes a pretty cool, pretty cool gun for that under $300 mark. The trigger, uh, well, you guys are going to know the trigger. The minute you look at it, you're going to say, gosh, that looks like a QB78 or that looks like a gauntlet trigger. And it's pretty much the same trigger. I've not taken it out of the stock yet, have not adjusted the trigger. Um, it's heavy. I'll give you that. It's probably three and a half, four pounds. The good news is that when I get in there, if it's what I think it is, it's going to be super easy to adjust. So um, no big deal. So let's go ahead and load up the mag. Um, again, two magazines, 12 shot for 177, 10 shot for 22. I'm gonna run the 8.4 grain air arms. They just drop in. Uh, there's an O-ring here that grabs the waist and then just move it to the next next hole. It's super easy, so not hard at all to load these up. Um, cycling has been super smooth. The one thing this has, like over some of those other variants I was talking about, and I'll move the gun around here in a second, uh, those all have some sort of bolt, whether it's a side bolt or rear bolt or something going on. They actually opted for a side lever, which makes the cocking, the whole process much nicer uh, and more consistent, easier, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they, that, that was a smart call on their part, I think. One, to differentiate uh, the product from other similar products. Um, and it just makes for a nicer shooting experience. So right here, we have a cocking lever instead of a bolt, which you have the mechanical advantage, just makes it a lot easier to work with. Back to the stock real quick, you guys can see I've got an adjustable cheek rest here. Again, really well thought, thought out for a sub $300 air gun. Um, on the front, and we're gonna do this also in another video, one half you would have threaded, so you wanna make this quieter. 
very easy to do, just thread on a moderator. So I'm gonna go ahead and aim dead center, and let's see what we're getting. We got a little breeze, but I don't think it's gonna give us a fit. Let's just see what we're gonna do here. A little bit high. Let's see here. Okay. For whatever reason, some of those first shots like to go high. Let's just see if it settles down. All right, that was the last one. All right, let's shoot another group. I think when we actually do the full review and we look at like that whole spread because it's not regulated, there's gonna be a window, probably a mag, maybe two mags, where it's gonna shoot better than at you know the start of the curve and the end of the curve. There's gonna be a plateau. Once you know what that pressure is and then just fill your gun to that pressure each time, then you're going to see, you know, that consistency you want. So let's see. We'll go ahead and shoot three mags and just see what we get here. All right. All right, let's go top left. And I'm aiming dead center. I'm not going to try to adjust for the group. We have got a wind that is coming out of the south, so it's pushing us right to left, so that's why we're, we're seeing that drift left of center there. Flies. One more. Okay. Okay, so our second group certainly calmed down, right? So if we're looking at our shot curve, that first, like right off a of full fill not going to give you your best results but the second mag better let's see what the third mag does and then we'll wrap this up all right let's see where we are pressure wise i'm just over 2000 psi right now so i bet you if you filled this to 2500 and shot down to 1500 you'd probably be in that sweet spot i'm going to go top right now okay top right let's see how we do third mag Oh, it went high, first shot. inconsistent there you know I'm gonna go fourth mag 
Let's just see what happens here. That second mag was pretty good. Third, not so good. Let's see what the fourth does. I don't know if I told you where, how far we're shooting, but we're 26 yards right here. So not super far, but certainly backyard distance for sure. Let's do right dead center. Let's see, we've, we're on our fourth mag. Let's see if we get any better or worse here. Let's see. Ooh, that one was a flare. Okay. Oh yeah, we're definitely low now. We're at like 1200 PSI right now. So um, I think the last couple shots might have been a little light, but that last group was really good. Um, other than that last shot, it got away from me. But we have the majority of those shots are smaller than my pinky nail. So obviously we got a lot more work to do here with the Barra. It is a very cool little air gun. Again, uh, you got to keep in mind price point here, right? So sub $300, like really sub $300. It's available off their website. All the links to the stuff will be down in the video description if you guys are interested. We've got a lot more work to do. Angie's got one of these too, so be sure to check out her videos. Uh, they're going to go on Gateway to Air Guns first, and then they'll come over to my channel as well. Um, but for now, that's going to be it, guys. If you're interested in this, check out their website. Again, links will be in the video description. I want to say thank you to Barra. Uh, for sending this out to us and uh, look forward to trying the 22 and well we'll finish up with this one and then we'll look forward to play with the 22 as well guys that's going to be it my name is rick you here with airgun web your home for old school airgun reviews where we tell you the facts not fluff thanks for watching